Quantum tunneling is the process by which a particle gets across a barrier that it cannot classically pass. It is related to wave-particle duality in that it is a result of the wave nature of a particle. An important aspect of quantum tunneling is the fact that the probability of a given particle getting through a barrier drops exponentially with the thickness of that barrier. The main formula for quantum tunneling is psi of x equals psi of 0 times e to the minus k x power, where psi is the particle's wave function, e is the natural log base number, k is the particle's wave number inside the barrier, and x is the distance from the start of the barrier. The formula for a particle's wave number inside a barrier is k equals the square root of 4 pi m times e minus v divided by h, where m is the particle's mass, e is the particle's energy, V is the barrier's energy, and H is Planck's constant, which is equal to 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th power joule seconds. When a wave comes in contact with a barrier, most of it bounces off. However, some of it passes through the barrier, but how much decays exponentially with the thickness of the barrier. As the amplitude of the wave increases, the amplitude of the wave on the opposite side of the barrier increases. As the barrier's thickness increases, the amplitude of the wave on the opposite side of the barrier decreases. As the wave energy increases, and correspondingly the wavelength decreases, the amplitude of the wave on the opposite side of the barrier increases. If the wave energy is greater than that of the barrier, then nearly all of the waves pass through the barrier with a longer wavelength. For particles, tunneling means that while most of the particles still bounce off of the barrier, a few instantly get through. The shorter the barrier, the more particles get through. If the barrier is thicker, fewer get through. Increase the thickness of the barrier further, and even fewer get through. The slower the particles are moving, the fewer of them get through the barrier. Speed up the particles, and more of them get through the barrier. Speed up the particles some more, and even more of the particles get through the barrier. Speed up the particles such that their energy exceeds that of the barrier, then almost all of the particles get across the barrier, but at a slower speed. Quantum tunneling gets subatomic particles across barriers that they normally cannot get across. The number of particles that get across the barrier drops exponentially with the barrier's thickness. The number of particles that get across the barrier increases with the energy of the particles. Quantum tunneling is a purely quantum effect in that it has no counterpart in classical mechanics. Quantum tunneling could theoretically occur on the macroscopic scale, but the odds are too small to ever see it actually happen.